With primary elections set for the end of this month in Florida, voters are heading to the polls for early voting, something that is not an option for Alabama voters. News 5's Zebby Williams has the story. Voters are going to the polls in Santa Rosa County, Florida. If you're an American citizen and you don't vote, shame on you. You've lost your right to talk about it. Escambia County voters are not far behind. We won't begin until uh, Saturday the 20th, and we'll go for eight straight days, the 20th to the 27th, Saturday to Saturday. For more than a decade, Florida voters have been able to vote early, either at satellite locations, by mail, or at their polling place on Election Day. My wife and I uh, take advantage of uh, early voting. Uh, I think for cer certain segments of the population, it, it really is convenient. There have been conversations about early voting in Alabama, but that's all it's been, talk. We've talked about doing early elections, and uh, everybody always seems to come back to the cost of it, you know, and the time, and the potential that maybe there would be a potential for some voter fraud. Early voting in Florida has accounted for the majority of votes cast in the last two presidential elections. At the end of the day, if you want to cast a ballot, I would argue it's never been easier to do so here in Escambia County and the rest of the state of Florida. It's an example Russell thinks is worth taking a look at. Well, Florida is definitely a great neighboring state and uh, we could probably learn something from Florida. I would be totally open to it myself. In Pensacola, Debbie Williams, News 5. The general election in Florida is August 30th. Early voting varies from county to county, but can open 8 to 14 days before an election.